As the two presidential campaigns are winnowing down their vice presidential choices, they might want to consider some unsolicited advice from contributor Mo Rocca. In selecting a vice presidential running mate, a simple rule applies. First, do no harm. No one will vote for you because of your running mate, but they might vote against you because of your number two. So, don't choose somebody who compounds weakness. John McCain is seen by some as too old for the job, so he should not choose former Senator Phil Graham. Grumpy old men was a hit. Grumpy old party, not so much. On the other hand, critics say Barack Obama is heavy on showmanship. A rock star, yes, but lacking in experience, which is why he should not tap John Bon Jovi. There are other ways to appeal to white working class voters. Don't choose someone who might want to undermine or hurt you in any way, which is why Obama should not choose Jesse Jackson. Ouch. Whatever you do, do not alienate your base. Obama should not choose Republican Chuck Hagel since he's, well, from the opposing party. McCain's task is trickier on this score. He needs to distance himself from President Bush, which is why he should nix Jeb Bush from his list. But he can't be seen as rejecting the Bush name altogether, which is why Billy Bush could be an option. I'm on my way. Today's hot pick. Don't choose somebody who tries to do your job, a Vice President Budinsky. Obama should not ask Hillary Clinton to join the ticket, unless he wants a knock on the Oval Office door every five minutes. First, it's Hillary checking in. Then it's Bill dropping by to say hi. Then it's Hillary with a State of the Union rewrite. Then it's Bill back to say hi again. Most importantly, don't choose somebody whose name is going to sound funny with yours. This is why Obama should not choose Arizona's governor, Janet Napolitano. Obama Napolitano sounds too much like a coffee drink. I'll take a venti Obama Napolitano with soy, thanks. It also sounds like a Rosemary Clooney song. Obama, Obama Napolitano, Obama, Obama Napolitano. Likewise, McCain cannot choose Representative Mary Fallon of Oklahoma. McCain Fallon, and he can't get up. At that point, you're just throwing the game. So who should they choose? Well, someone energetic, loyal, and uncontroversial. Try Match.com, but insist on seeing a picture. You'll be seen together a lot, well, at least until November.